Today we're going to talk about tips and tricks to laying out a strip board PCB. So the first thing when doing your first layout is you need to know to use the pin configurations that come from the data sheet and not symbols that come from the schematic. So this is the actual pins that of a physical part of an op amp, a voltage regulator, and a transistor. This is part of a schematic of a transistor voltage regulator. And notice that the adjust pin here is in the middle, but in the real part, V out is in the middle. And here's an op amp schematic that you should be uh, used to looking at already. Now note, the resistor, inductor, capacitor, and diode symbols, they're okay to use because they're two uh, port devices anyway. So I suggest you can just do those by hand normally. All right. Now when you read the data sheet, you might be uh, given a few choices of which pin configurations to use. Well, if it says obsolete, don't use it. Yes, I might have a few of these kicking around in my office or in somebody's office, but don't use those. Use the correct package. Now this happens to be surface mount and it also has m four op amps on it. Notice LT1014. Or actually it might not be a surface mount but still it's the wrong part. You can get this data sheet from here. For EE98 use through hole parts not surface mount parts. These are all surface mount parts where you can see the legs of these devices go into a hole that is uh, coated in solder. All right, this is a pinout of a through hole device because these pins go through a hole. This is a surface mount device where everything is on the surface. All their pins and legs stay on the surface and are soldered directly to the surface. Well, these are great. Uh, to use in advanced projects and to miniaturize things and keep layouts nice and small to reduce parasitics EE98 we're going to use this so let's do a quick example this is again a schematic and it's a Howland current source configured as a logarithmic amplifier here is uh, the voltage regulator it gives 5 volts and that net name gets connected directly here. No, you could call it an invisible wire. And all these ground symbols, all connected by a visible wire. I have four resistors, two connected to the negative input of the op amp, two of them connected to the output, and these three devices connected to the positive. So let's try to lay this out. So this is the symbol of the pin configuration of the op amp. And sometimes I just grab it, put it in here, and then stretch it to fit the pins. Here's the pin out of the voltage regulator. But sometimes it doesn't look good here, so I just make a box. And here's the actual, uh, what the part looks like from the data sheet for the diode. But again, you can just use a hand-drawn diode symbol as well. So I put in the voltage regulator and connect the 9 volt battery. Going to call that ground. And that is uh, the 9 volts. Goes into in and then out. I have a wire going to this bus and I'm going to call that V plus. And that goes right into pin 7, which is the power supply here. Now that I know this is plus and this is minus, I connect pin 4 right to V minus. Now if I look back here I go from ground to a resistor which is connected to the input negative input to R2 to V out so I go from ground in through a resistor here's my negative input to another wire through a resistor to out now I go from out through a resistor to this common terminal and it goes through this resistor to V in, or it goes through this diode to V out, uh, uh, to ground, excuse me, to this pin uh, V plus. And this is just denoting 
uh, an input voltage. Now, um, I think it can be helpful to put it in Fritzing to actually, because you can actually check your own work a little bit easier, and it looks like the project that you're doing. So we've got the 9 volt battery, and I'm calling this ground, and the adjust is connected to ground. This pin is connected to V plus. All right, and I'm actually going to switch to the Fritzing view to show you how you can check things. Have I connected my V plus everywhere properly? Well, look at what's highlighted. Everything on V plus that should be five volts is highlighted, and you can see that that symbol came down here. That is the proper power pin. Let me look at ground. And you can see that this part of the diode, whoop, let's delete that. This part of the diode was connected to ground. The op amp was connected to ground. The negative side of the um, voltage regulator was connected to ground. And so that I can follow the signal. Here's ground through a resistor. That's the negative input of the op amp. Goes through a resistor. And that's output, which comes to this, which happens to be VX. Now, I just happen to put these here to talk about something later, but that's not actually part of this layout. And then I just added some text showing where things were. Um, I should probably add a, you know, the fact that that's ground and the fact that that's V plus. One thing about LEDs and transistors in Fritzing, when you pull it out, this longer pin, and sometimes it's not bent like that, it's just one pin is longer. That's the P side, and the shorter pin is N. Here's a transistor, and you can see this curved part corresponds to this curved part. And so you have drain gate source, where the gate is in the middle.